Geelong here to the bronze medal match. Third place at the 2023 Rugby Town Sevens. It's the defending champions, the Rambling Jesters, the Tsunami Barbarians, two heavyweights in this competition that lost slender semi-final battles. Here they come right now to beautiful Infinity Park. I'm Dallas Stanford, alongside my old sparring partner and World Rugby Hall of Famer, Gareth Reese. Oh, this one is gonna be tight. Many people thought this could have been the final. Tsunami Barbarians, the Cardiac Kids getting it done in the quarterfinal. And the Ramon Gestures, you know, playing it low all week. Oh, this isn't our best team, but a very, very good team with some real depth off the bench, too. Yeah, Ramon Gestures, they'll feel a different side on the field, but look out for Aaron Cummins. He's been stellar up front. Wayne for the bank. He's been brilliant out back. Kevin DeMore, the hard work up front. And then Jay Shaw Haskin has seen a lot of time. We might see him more here. Ethan Hager is the Canadian seventh star for the Tsunami Barbarians. Justin Hale representing Texas. He is such a brilliant fellow off the field. And he is shining in the official capacity as well. Great to see him getting the bronze medal match. Welcome to you, wherever you're tuning in. David Mob Smith is there. He turned 80 yesterday. Gandalf. He's blowing in the wind there. And Steve Lewis is behind him, coaches of the Rowling Jesters. We're going seven minutes each way. Barry kicks off from right to left. Hager to receive for the Tsunami Barbarians in the bronze medal game. Big contact as Hager gets driven all the way to the line. Wow, that is some strong D from the Rambling Jesters. And that is Seb Roach. He is such a pest. Just a couple of updates on the injury front as we see this kickoff. Hager, don't think Roach Featherstone, the great All Black Sevens player, is going to be involved too much. Kean Berry is carrying something. And for the Tsunami Barbarians on the other side, two players out, Derek Adams and Nianari, so they'll have a very short bench, the Tsunami Barbarians. Tabola has possession on that far side. Marcus goes into Hager. They battled against each other last week in the Olympic qualifiers. Over the top of Barry's head. Shane looking to collect. Finally does just that. Oscar Stewart links up with Roach. A good strong tackle to start off this game. Support runners there is Josh Holt as well. To the right. Ooh, Shane Barry and the Sheriff, Austin Emmons. Played with the Lions Sevens last year in Feeks. He's been full of hot stepping. But this Tsunami Barbarian side picked up some learning lessons after losing 22 7 to the USA under 23s. Here comes Shane Barry flying in as a Seawolf. Good support from Tupperola. Mr. Hollywood. Oscar shifts it away. Hulk attacks forward. Good connectivity with Oscar Stewart. Just 21 years of age. The Jesters reload, changing their point of attack. Barry, couple of stutter steps, then gets a switch to the Sheriff. Tsunami holding strong so far and forcing the knock on as well. And Rios Fedrix, Stephen Stagg and Nigel Dacker will be very happy about almost two minutes on deep. Yeah, a lot of possession, nothing to show for it. Tsunami Barbarians competing at the breakdown. Maybe a little bit up the side there, but they're going to take it and they'll have the ball. As one of the many Jester supporters yet in the colorful outfits. You see there, I don't know if he came into the gate exactly, but he did cause troubles and they bobbled it at the base. Tsunami looking for their best ever finish at the Rugby Town Sevens. Set. Big shot. Well, John Lefebvre there putting in the scrum. I think he needs a big game here if they can get by the Jesters, as does this man. Ethan Hager. They need to be Hold behind it. Sorry. You guys, make sure you back it up, back it up, trust. Nice low driving kick from Hager. It's not out though. Backwards it goes from Nick Beeks. The one we affectionately call the Mongoose. Floats one over the top to Stewart. He engages Lafayette. Runs him over. Samuel Smith is there. Venture Clark comes in. Two American Raptors. The Sheriff to the right. He comes Beeks again. Barry, Roach, fights hard, goes up against Slater. Rambling Jesters, they want to entertain you. Can they get on the board? There are numbers here. A wide ball has perhaps skipped that overlap as big Josh Holt flicks it in. Oh, Hollywood is right there on the spot. And Oscar Stewart gets it done for the Rambling Jesters. Well, just watch the height, yeah? Just watch the height. A little apology there for a high tackle. But the pass from Josh Schultz, the pass beat the defender. And that's what put him away. Oscar Stewart hitting it at pace. Watch this as it comes inside here. Big Josh Schultz, test hit the outside. And watch Hager comes 15. across. And the pass gets in front of him. 
Nice finish from Oscar Stewart. Five. The extra two from Shane Barry. Unsuccessful. Five nothing. Good start. And we're chatting to David Barry, the founder of well, the founder of the Barry Brothers, but also the founder of the Ramley Jesters. He said he wants to feel the younger side, those that get a lot of playing time. Meanwhile, the Monte Noble and his coach said, no, no, we want to take this bronze medal match. Hardware is hardware for these boys. Not quite a piece of the 10 grand that they started out the weekend going after. That's right, the Jesters got the big check last year, Hager, with a nice take and lift from Monate Akwe. Smith. Paul Eddie Slater goes wise to DeMonte Noble. He needs a big game, DeMonte Noble. A flick little pass to the side there, and it's still in the field of play. Paul Eddie Slater goes for Barry is all over it. It's still there, playable, the fave. Now spreading to Sean Clark. Here they come. Hager bursts onto this one. Can he get it off? Off the foot, off the foot. Kicked ahead by Monata Akwe, the 25-year-old. And the rounding gestures, pinch possession. No sweeper back. So the Mongoose thought about kicking over the top. Instead he takes on Samuel Smith. And again, it's that breakdown, which is really a nuisance in the modern day of sevens. He made a tackle. Well, like I said, the Barbarians need more cowbell, and the has stepped up. He got the second bounce, and sometimes you got to be lucky. But a lot of pressure to rock again. This has been a feature in this game. 15 seconds. One notch, and then he's looking for the second. Pops up kindly into his hands. John Lefebvre away. You never know what's going to happen with the bounce of the ball, ball security, and they have the lead, the Tsunami Barbarians. They're such an entertaining side. There is the pass of Tim Stanfield shouting instructions from the side. A lovely kit as well. Yeah, and he's become the super sub Stanfield. So experienced, but great kit. Obviously, eco-friendly apparel company, Tsunami Sport, doing some great stuff in North America, not only growing the game, but also with their apparel. Yeah, I absolutely love it. That Baptist Barbarian side brought it here to Rugby Town for a few years now, and they're doing beautiful things. So they're up 7-5 against the rambling gestures that don't lose a lot of games yet at Infinity Park. So the Mongoose inside the 22. Marcus Tupol played a lot of minutes in this tournament. Worth noting, Hager stuck over the conversion, so they took the lead, the Tsunami. That's right. 7-5. Now on the outside. Good tackle. Isolated. Ball off the back of Hager. So flag is up, though. No. He threw it backwards. Off the back of Black. It's going to be a white line now. Yeah, great work from Justin. He's got that exactly right. The just threw it back. It went off a of Black jersey player. Here we go. Off Hager's back, I think. So smart play from him. And they've won the lineup. Yeah, good set piece. Shane Barry. One of the younger Barry brothers, just 12 years of age. Here comes Beeks flying into the line. The Mongoose against the Monte Noble. Emmons, good ball. Finds Harry Potter in midfield. Roach again. Oh, and that's an awkward one. Slater picks it up for the Tsunami Barbarians. Can they capitalize here? And go back to back scores. Smith. Hager. Links across to Slater, steps off the right, there's Ethan Hager. He bounces off both feet. Hager turning in and out. Hager still going. Finds the off guard. Here's Noble. Oh, what a step. Noble still on his feet. Bounces another. DeMonte Noble. He goes again. The US Eagle player has gone out, unfortunately. And it will bring the halftime whistle as well. Bodies everywhere here in the bronze medal game. And it's the Tsunami Barbarians that lead the Ramming Jesters by 7-5 at halftime. First Bank is the official banking partner of Infinity Park. They believe in banking for good, doing their best to do right by their customers, communities, and employees. Banking for good, dot member, FD, FDIC. Hey, Hey, real quick while we're here. Team for Mary. Got it. Let's have a listen hey, to the tsunami huddle here. Pass it when he carried it. Yeah, it was, was right. It was right. Yeah. Tell him to move. You got to tell him down. to move. Hey, 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 boys, come on. We're waiting. We're waiting, boys. We've got 40 seconds. Hey, boys, waiting. Let's go. Hey, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Breath on me. Breath. One breath. In. Listen while you're breathing. Hey, I'll slow. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. One more. In. 
again, again, it's just those little execution points, all right? The little execution points that's, that's keeping these guys in the game. We should be, hey, guys, we should be two or three times up, all right? Let's 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 trust our guys on the outside. Give it to them early. Fellas, we're right there. Scoreboard, right? Let's take yeah. this one. We're right there. Hey, hey boys, hey. where are the smiles? Hey, 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 one, hey, yeah, one, hey, one, hey, one other thing, guys. If, you get, if you're going any concert... Paul Riaz Fredericks, just calm and cool. Knows his team has the two-point lead, but... Definitely have the potential to build on that. And here is the highlights. It's the step here. Watch this inside ball. A little flat hit. It's a little wrong footed. But nice finish there from Oscar Stewart. It looked like they might start to build on that, the Jesters. But this plucky, plucky Tsunami Barbarians team always fighting, competing at the breakdown, getting a few breaks to go there. Look at this bounce up into the hands of Jean Lefebvre. So with that conversion on top of that try, they take the lead 7 5. That's right, the penultimate game here at the 2023 Rugby Town 7s. The fans have come in thick and fast, particularly day two and day three. We saw plenty of sunshine. A little cloud cover coming here. It is the third place game. Our referee's Justin Hale. I'm Dallas Stanford alongside Gareth Reese. Welcome to our rugby network viewers and those from around the globe. 110 countries hitting a record here. DeMonte Noble knows he loves that record. And it's Tsunami who kick off that lead 7 5. With seven minutes to go, ramming gestures. Well, very good at the restart. Barry to Aaron Cummins, the big motor of the Hulk. But Jenkins has him though, wrestles him to the ground. And the sheriff looks for the mongoose again. Ramming gestures, resting a couple of their big players like Roach Ferguson and Kean Barry. To do great duty over the first few days. Shane Barry now. Aaron Cummins, AC, throws a big dummy. Jenkins has him again. He's got his number wow. the last two tackles. Well, Jenkins is winning that battle here in the second half. Big Aaron Cummins. I don't ever want to get him mad, but he won't be happy with that, losing two physical encounters with Kenny Jenkins. Nobody wants to get big Aaron Cummins mad. The Hulk, as we call him here as well. Fresh faces on the field. Tim Stanfield is there. Shane Barry wants to be subbed, but Hold on, time's off. nobody wants time's to come off. on for him. So, he's got to okay. stay on the field. No, no, Jonathan young, has possession. Up, so. Final coming up right, after this. We'll one. feature the USA under-23s and now sevens. So strap yourselves in for that. We've seen Germany win the shield. Wild Dogs the pole. And Griffin's the plate. Here comes Tim Stanfield. The puzzle is not done yet. He's got rugby in his bones. And he scores a brilliant try for the Tsunami Barbarians. Well, we noted he didn't get the start. But his impact, it's not always physical, it's just mental. Quick line out at the front, and they totally capitalize on a gesture's defense that's sleeping at the front of the line out. Moves his feet, and Cummings doesn't quite take his man. Stanfield doesn't ask twice, and he's in. Wow, the chiropractor slicing here at Rugby Town 7s. We've seen for so many years, and he's still got the goodies. There's the Zulu Warrior. Kick to stretch that lead. Flag goes up. It's 14 points to five. And the Tsunami Barbarians in this third place game are looking very good in the second half. Time off, time Going to have some subs on the field. These gestures are going to have to dig deep. And you mentioned they don't have the likes of Featherstone, their playmakers, and Barry. There's some subs there as well for the Tsunami Barbarian side. Monte Noble to kick off. All Glory DC. He played in LA as well in MLR. The US Eagle goes deep. Captain Joe Moore, a stunning take from him. Doing impressive things there. So is Wayne Vanderbank. Austin Emmons in midfield. Just a bit of a standing start here. So they nice big pass. ball over the top. It is a nice one, but it bounces up and hits Lorenzo Thomas. And here comes Vanderbank. But there was a full pass that came first. Yeah, I thought the first pass was a good one. They were just slow to react to it because he pushed them into space. And that kind of sums up the gestures bronze medal match here. They're just not quite clicking. And an opportunity again for the Snobby Barbarians to get more points on the board. See the big frame of Chase Shaw Haskin. He's first turned back after shoulder surgery earlier this year, playing with the U.S. Eagles in the World Series. He coached Life University just past summer while recovering as well. Great, great to see him giving back to the game. You see the wind is picking up here. <laughs> It is pouring on Friday, sunny Saturday, scorching today, and now there's a storm approaching. 
and could be the two teams in the cup final. US under 23s and NAV7s. To Monte Noble, will he pass? Yes, he does. Kenny Jenkins leaves it behind, but here comes Marcus to ball on the rising gestures. The colorful side, look to the halfway line. Three and a half minutes to go in the bronze medal game. Diamore to the left, LT is there. Roommates with Nick Feeks for three years. And they won three titles. Feeks gets it away. Cummins just at a standing start. Thunder Bank. They need something special to finish things up. And that's the Sheriff on the outside. Austin Evans. Kenny Jenkins. It's going to be Evans that wins the race. The Sheriff is in the corner. No need to see his badge. Wow, Austin Evans. It was the initial mistake from De Noble that just gave the lifeline to this Jester's team. He shipped it wide, one-on-one -on -one battle. He sets him up, squares him up, and takes him to the corner. Austin Emmons, the 20-year-old, showing what it's all about. He will look to add the extras from far out. It's a lovely-looking kick. Does it have the legs? Just falls short. After that great run, it's 14 points to 10. Game back on. One score in this bronze medal game. They fired up on the bench as well. Your water needs to get off. Huh? Before you get your water has to get off. Plenty on the line. For silverware to finish things out after a hard weekend for all these sides. 20 took part in the beginning. And just these four left. Ethan Hager. With a match-winning tackle to get them where they are now, but it is the rambling jesters. A never say die attitude, never go to bed angry. To Borla, here's Van der Bank, good tackle. Kenny Jenkins is really impressed, and so is John McVay. <laughs> awesome defense there from the Barbarians. Great shot tackle, and then immediately on the ball, stealing it. I think it was Big Short asking who got over top and won the penalty. Watch there, there's the big chop tackle. Oh, it was Lefebvre, actually. It's more diminutive, but more effective. Yeah, textbook defense. And he said he needed a big game, and he did. He's yeah. ball in hand, he's doing the defensive stuff. Right to me. That's as good as a match winner right there. Time back on. Still time to go, though. For the Canada! Ouch! Nice and second. Bye! Beautiful drone Six. shot here from oh. our crew oh. at Infinity Park. Led by, led by Patrick Guthrie and Matt Brown is Brown's birthday today as well. Big contact no, in the no, 22. No, no, no. A fierce battle. And the arm goes to the tsunami. There wasn't much in that. I'm not sure Hager didn't get away with a, a neck roll. Make a decision, White. But they've won the penalty. Tsunami gonna take the scrum and they want a better product from this. Here's the isolation. Hager's struggling to get there. I think he rolls right the man off. Wow. Still under pressure, though. Ten meters from their own line. Under a minute to go. Hey, one score in it. They've gone for the oh, scrunch. Inside their 22. Gavis, the tsunami Barbarians Bye. looking Bye. for Bye. their first Gavis, ever bronze medal. Set. At the Bye. Rugby Bye. Town Bye. Sevens. Final coming up just off this. John Lefebvre goes on the outside. Looking for a little half break out there. Big tackle. No. Lefebvre is there again. Stanford. Outside. Chase Shaw has an advantage for the Tsunami Barbarians. Good strong tackle as well coming in from Emmons. Solid ruck time. And on to Akwe. Lefebvre finds Hager who just holds on. It's Ethan Hager. Ball in. It's been rocked and pinched by Aaron Cummins. What a big play. Here come the Ram and Jesters. The crowd on their feet to Buola. Thomas is with him. We're into the final few seconds of this game. Can they score and win it? A buzzer beater, they call it. Gavin Duamore, just on that far side. Van der Bank. Big. The runs up. Thomas. Hurdman for the line. Aaron Cummins. Oh, it bust out. Penalty, though. High shot. We are not done. Hi. Hi. What a tackle from Durrell Williams in the corner, but it's going to be quick. Thriller. Wayne Vanderbilt gets 
the glory try. Gets the White, bronze medal for his team. Tsunami Barbarians have given it their all. They weren't ready for this. Quick tap. Goes slow off the line. And he bounced two tacklers and got it down. He won the Major League Rugby title with the New England Free Jacks. David Berry, who's in picture there, was one of the co-owners. He's the founder of the Ramblin' Jesters.